it's Friday again. Thanks for clicking my YouTube video. Today I'm thrilled to showcase my FPGA based Amiga computer. It is housed in this, this stunning case from 8400.net and powered by a um, uh, FPGA based computer uh, mounted on a bespoke motherboard from 8 bits forever. Um, after I've showed you the software which is now booting an Amiga, I will show you the hardware. Not all of you know what an FPGA is. An FPGA is a reprogrammable integrated circuit that can be configured to perform various digital logic functions offering flexibility, customization in hardware design and prototyping. FPGAs are commonly used in areas such as telecommunication, automotive, aerospace and industrial automation. But the most important use of an FPGA is to recreate old computers. This system is based on the Mr. FPGA system, which is an open source project recreating classic gaming systems mostly using modern FPGA technology. It offered accurate hardware level emulation for re retro gaming. So if you are into any old system, 8-bit, 16-bit computer, you should really dig into it. Mr. uses modular add-on boards, cores as they're called in, um, in Mr. to emulate, emulate different systems. It is very popular due to its uh, versatility and active community support. So this Amiga is not an Amiga. It is a ha hardware emulation of an Amiga in an FPGA. So this is set up as an A1200. And as I said, I will show the hardware after I've showed you a tiny bit of the software. So here we have uh, uh, the workbench screen and uh, uh, as you see it behaves just like a real Amiga with control Amiga Amiga will reboot it and it's uh, as fast or as slow as a real Amiga 1200 with our RAM extension. Um, so what I wanted to uh, show you is uh, just briefly how it behaves and we can start by putting on some music and if we enter the Modlan favorites is a very good uh, Compilation if you don't want to track down all your favorite moods yourself. I will add the link to that in the description if you're interested. But um, let's put on some Yuga Liliadar. Endless. That's a nice mood. Let's play that. And the Amiga is. One of the first computers, or the first computers, to have a proper uh, multitasking. So, while the computer now plays some music, I wanted to show you just briefly how it was to um, do some uh, 3D rendering on a computer like this. So, if we start Cinema 4D, we open one of the projects that is here. The Coke can. That's our true classic. And we can zoom out and move 
over out. Um, but if we wanted to render it, you can see how it was on, uh, on a real Amiga 1200 with uh, some extra memory. Uh, this is running as an AGA uh, Amiga 1200, not with uh, any RTG graphic card to help it out. So, and while it's rendering, we can still uh, multitask. We can have a look at Workbench and do other things. We can go back into ProTracker. But now it's done rendering, so that's how a Coca-Cola box is rendered on an Amiga. So that's uh, really I want to to show you in the software, but I know someone will write in the comments, but what about sysinfo, the most important part of it all? So let's do it. For those that don't know, sysinfo is a benchmark tool for uh, the Amiga. And it, for some reason, seems very important for a lot of people. So as you see, this scores somewhat below a uh, plain Amiga 4000, but a bit better than a stock 8400. So it's it's not the blistering fast experience you have with the, the Raspberry, as I said. This is something completely different. Let's have a look inside, let's open it and I will show you the custom hardware that was made for this computer. This is the hardware. Um, uh, this beautiful case was made from 8400.net and um, uh, they also made this custom uh, keycaps for it. But Inside, we have uh, this very custom-made uh, motherboard or breakout board, uh, with made from from eight bits forever. This was uh, built to order, so it's not that many of them around. Uh, integrated in uh, the motherboard or breakout board, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it is an Arduino that works as a keyboard controller. So I have connected uh, the keyboard controller from an Amiga 500 directly into it. To the FPGA side of it is the DE10 Nano board, which is powered by the FPGA made by Intel. And uh, at the back, uh, we have ports in the same placement as um, a real Amiga. And we even have connections for proper Amiga joysticks, as you can see. So that's the hardware bit of it. And that concludes our small journey tonight in the world of FPGA-based Amiga computing. I hope you enjoyed it. I plan to show more of the Mister in the future, so subscribe if that's your thing. If you have anything you want me to have a look at and maybe make a video of, please let me know in the comments. So, cheers to endless possibilities in the retro computing 
and the joy it brings to enthusiasts like us. Until next time, happy retro computing. Cheers. It's Friday. <laughs>